it. Welcome back to the 2013 Nashville Film Festival presented by Nissan and I'm here with the filmmakers behind This Ain't No Mouse Music, Chris Simon and Maureen Gosling. Okay, you guys have to explain the term mouse music to everyone and what you mean by that. Okay. Do you want to be? Yeah. <laughs> mouse music <laughs> is a very uh, esoteric term. It's basically our, the person the film is on is a guy named Chris Strachwitz. He recorded community music, what we now call Americana or roots music back mm -hmm. in the 60s is one of the first persons to do it. And Chris is a very, very picky guy. And what he doesn't like, he calls mouse music. Now, mouse music could be anything that I mean, it could be anything. He likes Michael Jackson, so Michael's not yeah. mouse music. It's fall into the category. <laughs> but, you know, Doris Day, probably mouse music. I mean, you know, it's you would be surprised. It's very eclectic. He's and a very film. discerning palette. Exactly, yes. and you never know what's yeah. happening. Well, it's about his life. It, it's, um, it's, it starts with the 60s when he first recorded Lightning Hopkins, a uh, blues singer from South Texas, and Mance Lipscomb, who was a songster also from Texas, and was actually the first person on his label. And it kind of comes up to, we, we see him in all these different environments, evoking memories as well as being with people contemporarily, people who are still alive that were either on his label or people that have inspired him today. And everything from Cajun, Zydeco, Tex-Mex, Appalachian, uh, uh, what am I missing? Uh, blues, uh, yeah, no tradi luck. traditional no jazz, luck. traditional jazz, and he is someone who has followed his heart and his ears, looking for authentic and deep in the heart expressive music that people have recorded, especially in more marginal areas of the country.